Happy Easter, everyone. Thank you for joining us for a special holiday edition of our food pairing series. Today we are featuring a special Jelly Belly Jelly Bean War. And we're gonna feature two wines for each flavor of jelly bean. How this is gonna work is you're gonna sip your wine first, eat a jelly bean, and then sip your wine again. The reason we do it that way is so you can get all the flavors together at once. So it's gonna determine whether or not it's making the wine better, the jelly bean better, or if it's making both better. for you today is reserved Chardonnay versus Chardonnay and we're pairing with a buttered popcorn jelly bean. If you love popcorn this pairing is really for you. The reserved Chardonnay is actually going to amplify the buttered popcorn. It's going to give you a super buttery pair. Um, it's going to really make the popcorn flavor pop while we do it with Chardonnay. The Chardonnay is actually going to tone down the jelly bean a little bit. You're not going to get that extreme popcorn flavor. It's going to be a little more of a clean the next pairing we have for you all is our Monitor versus Chardonnay, and we're pairing it with a toasted marshmallow jelly bean. This is just like Peeps, so it's perfect for Easter. The Chardonnay, when you pair it with the jelly bean, is actually going to give you a little bit more of that marshmallow tone. It's going to be very sweet, while when you do it with the Monitor, it's going to tone down the marshmallow tone in the jelly bean a little bit, and it's going to give you more of those kind of smokier tones like you'd have. It's just like a s'more pairing. It's perfect. Next one we have is our Rosé versus our Hanover White, and we're pairing it with a strawberry cheesecake jelly bean. So when you do it with the rosé, it's going to kind of match the jelly bean flavors. It's going to give you more of that fruity tone. It's going to be very strawberry. It's going to kind of amplify those kind of tones in the jelly bean. While when you pair it with the hand of white, it's going to kind of do the opposite. You're going to get more of those cheesecake tones and less of the fruit. The sweetness in the jelly bean and the wine kind of match there. And instead of getting the fruity tones, you're getting more of the cheesecake. The next pair we have is our Vidal Blanc versus our Traminette with Pina Colada Jelly Bean. So this one's a really fun one. With the Vidal Blanc, you're kind of going to taste the pear in pieces, meaning you're going to get more of the dried fruits first, and then you're going to get kind of the flavors together, and then you're going to finish with a really coconutty flavor. When you do the Traminette, it's kind of the opposite. You're getting a really upfront, really makes the fruit pop in the pear. It's just like sipping a real Pina Colada in the Florida Keys. It's just really present, really kind of popping, really makes you want to just go to the beach. I like that. I don't like the treatment by itself, but with the pina colada jelly bean, I like it. This next pairing we have for you is kind of a bonus pair. For those of you that like really sweet wines, we highly recommend doing this pairing at home. This is our Hanover White. It's one of our sweetest wines, and we paired it with a lemon drop jelly bean. So this jelly bean was actually pretty hard to pair. Um, it's got a very strong, very present lemon, kind of sour, almost tart tone. So when you pair it with the Hanover White, it's going to actually contrast it, and your sweet kind of overpowers the tart, and the tart overpowers the sweet. So they cancel out, and it turns into a really balanced, kind of super fruity, almost like a lemon cake. It's very soft and very complimenting. This last pairing we have for you all is probably my favorite one of all of the ones we've tasted. It is our Petit Verdot versus our Rad Red, the Cappuccino Jelly Bean. If you're a coffee lover like I am, this pairing is perfect for you. The jelly beans are so extreme in flavor. They give off so much of that super yummy coffee tones. When you pair it with the Petit Verdot, it's going to give you more of that kind of cocoa tone. It's going to kind of amplify the bean a little bit, give you that chocolate, almost like a donut softness in the pear. But when you do it with the Rad Red, it's going to tone it down to a different level where it's going to give you that nice creamy, almost like a coffee ice cream, which is one of my favorite things. 